Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back. Today we're talking about how you guys can hit on the newest Air Jordan 1, the Air Jordan 1 Shadow 2.0. Beautiful shoe. Let's get into the video. What's good everybody and welcome back to Tamsers Kicks. Today, like I said, we're talking about how you guys can cop the newest Air Jordan 1 Shadow 2.0, new version of the OG Shadows, which came out in 2018. This shoe is amazing. Fire materials, color blocking looks great. I'm super excited for this shoe. I know a ton of people are gonna be trying to get on this shoe. Stock is pretty good, so it looks like we all should have a pretty good chance at hitting on these ones. These ones are coming out pretty soon, so I'm dropping this guide, how you guys can hit on the shoe. If you guys haven't seen on the How to Cop video from me, basically today we're gonna break down the release, talk about it on Nike sneakers, break down the shoe material, stuff like that, get into the resale guide. I'll let you guys know if this is a good hold, this is a good sell stock numbers, all that kind of stuff. And then at the end of the video, you're gonna to wanna to stick around because that's when I'm gonna break down the site list where you guys can get the shoe and also some little secrets for each site, the best ways manual users and bot users can hit on this Air Jordan 1. But first, you guys know, before we get into that today, bottom corner, hit that subscribe button for your boy, if you love me. Of course, leave a big like on the video too as it does push it out to everyone else who's trying to hit on this Air Jordan 1 Shadow, but other than that, let's just get into it today. Man, Nike just continues to make fire shoes. 2021 has been a huge year and we have seen multiple shoes come out each month that are worth getting, a lot of people have been wanting. And I mean, whether it's new Nike Dunks, Nike SBs, new collabs, new Air Jordan Retros, anything like that, Nike is really hitting on them and no different since about, since about really February-ish, we've seen multiple drops every month and May is no different. And even going into the summer, we're gonna have a ton of fire shoes. So starting off with this Air Jordan 1 Shadow, you guys are not gonna wanna sleep on this one. Talking about this shoe specifically, the Air Jordan 1 Shadow 2.0 is coming out May 15th. We had the OG Air Jordan 1 Shadow came out in 2018. That one's banging at about 500, 600 resale wise. It's doing very good. We also had, um, in 2015, I believe it was the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Shadow come out. That one's hitting really good resale prices too. And I think the color blocking on this one is gonna make it a phenomenal shoe, not only for a personal, but also for a good resale in the future. But we're gonna break down kind of the materials and like the grade school men's sizing on Nike sneakers right now. All right, May 15th is the day releasing Air Jordan 1 High Shadow 2.0 version, retailing 170 in men's. And then scrolling down to the bottom, you can see we do have grade school sizes, which I think is gonna help the shoe a lot, but those are gonna be at 130. Bang and shoe, I love everything about the shoe. I think the details are fire. I think the subtleness of the shadow colorway is amazing. And I mean, I know a lot of people have been trying to get them. We finally do have a nice wide release for the shadow as well. Stock isn't crazy high like a mocha drop, but it's also not gonna be super low like the PSG Jordan 1 Zoom, stuff like that. So it is gonna be a pretty available shoe. I know um, in-store reservation-wise, there's not as many stores that are getting them, but Nike sneaker stock is still gonna be pretty healthy. And as we break down the shoe, we can see this upper that is composed of the black leather base. And then you do have the smoke gray nubuck going all around the shoe. I love the details on it. I think just the smoke gray and the black combine so well. And I'm still debating whether I like this color better, um, this color way, the 2.0 better than the OG Shadow one. I like them both a lot, but we also have the soles composed of this nice white all along the midsole. And then the bottom is the outsole is the all black to match kind of the other um, overlays of black around the upper. And then some other details that I really just like a ton. I mean, I just really like the colorway, honestly. You can't go wrong with a nice shadow here. And we've seen it with the OG one, we've seen it with the lows, we've seen a, a white shadow mid as well come out recently. And so I think a lot of people are gonna like this shoe. I know a lot of people already have it. Nike sneakers did have um, not a super big release, but they did have some early access for the shoe, which does help. And then, like I said, I think the addition of grade school sizes on the shoe is just gonna make it that much more available to people, maybe guys to get it and girls to get it, maybe match um their significant other stuff like that so i think again this shoe is fire all right for resale wise here on StockX, you can see i had the shoe pulled up and i mean with early pairs in prices have kind of tanked and we did see i think go or stock x did like a promotion um like a 20 dollars credit if you like sell shoes on the apps and when they do that prices do tend to go down as well because a lot of people go towards the apps to sell 
But I mean, right now in the resale, I wanna talk about two things. I wanna talk about the Shadow 2.0 prices. And then I also wanna talk about some other shoes in the past that have had um, certain like variations of the color come out. Basically like the shattered backboards, we're gonna take a break and kind of look at those ones too. So you can see the resale and how they're gonna do pretty similar numbers, I believe. And so right now you can see most sizes hitting about 280 to 270 in all across the board. I mean, of course, smaller sizes will be a little different, but this one is still gonna be a very good one. In my opinion, honestly don't like holding Air Jordan 1s anymore. I think there's too many um, like store owners, consigners, people like that. They're just trying to cash you out, trying to get it for their stores to sell in there. So my opinion with a lot of Air Jordan ones that I'm trying to kind of do, see how it works out is that um, you kind of just want to cash out. I mean, you do really have two options. Number one, you buy the shoe, you kind of cop as many pairs as you can. And then you just kind of see um, if you want to sell maybe one or two, maybe hold on to a couple. But I mean, another one, is you just buy the shoe, cop as many as you can, and then you just sell them all and move on to the next release. And I mean, a shoe like this, you're gonna get like a nice $100 profit basically off of the shoe. So I mean, it never hurts to just sell and move on. That is one thing that I know a lot of people struggle with in shoes, they struggle with in the stock market too, is you just wanna secure your profits. And sometimes in a shoe that's more of a GR, you definitely just wanna secure your profits. And so this one is gonna be one I'm primarily gonna be looking to sell most of my pairs, maybe hold one until, of course, Jordan ones usually take about a year plus to really bang in price, but maybe about um, towards Christmas time, kind of in the fall will be a better um, way to sell. And then also I did want to take a look real quick and show you guys the shattered backboards. Um, and this one came out a while ago. As we go back to the first kind of ones that came out here, I mean, this one's going absolutely nuts in all sizes, 1300, 1600, 1800. Those ones are crazy. So most of them are not gonna be maybe like that, but I mean, the Shadow 1.0s haven't really banged out at that price yet. But as we go from the OG ones, then we had um, the 2.0, kind of like the reverse version as well. And then we also had the most recent ones, which was the 3.0 Shattered Backboards. And I mean, even those ones, not many people were super hot on them at first. I know when they came out, a lot of people weren't sure how they felt about this material on the upper, but as you can see, they like it now. It's about four or 500 in most sizes. And so I think again, it's gonna be a hold and it's gonna do pretty similar to the shattered backboards. As you have um, a shoe come out with different colors, resale does stay and it does improve over time. So again, either sell your pairs real quick, secure profits and move on, or I would say to sell a pair or two, keep a pair or two, and just kind of play it out from there. All right, the biggest question I get, where can I cop this shoe? And this one is gonna be a pretty nice release. It's gonna be kind of like an Air Jordan 1 releases we've seen in the past. Gonna have a nice sight list. We got Nike sneakers, Foot Locker, Finish Line, places like that, tons of raffles. So I'm gonna highlight three of my favorite ways for this specific shoe that I think you guys should go for. Of course, way number one, we're going Nike sneakers. And this is my favorite way to hit Jordan 1 specifically because I've kind of figured out a little bit of trick and this is a big secret I'm gonna share right here. If you guys are tuning in, you guys are lucky to get this secret right now. I know I've said it a couple times, but for some reason on Jordan 1s, and I've done this ever since the Mocha's released, um, clear back in like October is make a new account and specifically use um, that old account you had. You can use the same phone number, just use a different email. And I've done this repeatedly on new Air Jordan drops. I did it on the Mochas, um, Biohacks, Hyper Royals. What else we got? We got a ton, tons of Air Jordans come out. We got the Volt ones that came out. Um, Man, I can't even remember all Air Jordans. There have been so many, but basically every Air Jordan 1 since the Mochas, I have really made sure to make a new account and that new account has hit. And for some reason, it works very well on Air Jordan 1s. I've done it on other shoes as well, but Air Jordan 1 specifically, very good. So that is one thing I would say to do with this. Number two, you guys know it's gonna be in-store reservations. This is a huge cook always. I'm always super high on this one. This time around, Foot Locker's Champs, Foot Actions, aren't getting too much stock for them. Kind of unfortunate. I haven't seen too many stores. It is still pretty hefty on the amount of stores getting them, but it's not as big as like the University Blues War or even the Hyper Royals were supposed to be. Hopefully those come soon. But those ones, the shadows, just enter as many as you can. You guys know you gotta get your flex points up and also some other low key reservations, Hibbit and Jimmy Jazz. If you guys have any of those stores around you, 
look to enter in store. I know Jimmy Jazz has been getting some good stock lately. So I would definitely look for that one for in store. And then finally, just another website. Maybe you want, want to try finish line and JD sports. I do talk about this one a little bit um, more often than other sites, but basically all you want to do is you're going to be on the mobile app on both finish line and JD sports This is important because the apps are basically the same. They're kind of the same company and they share a lot of stock. And so sometimes you get through on finish line and not JD vice versa. So you want to have both the mobile apps pulled up and also you want to have the browser web pages pulled up. You just never know when you're going to get through on. And so that's just a big important key with those sites, as well as having your info saved into account that you can easily just log into once you get in. But for the video today, that's going to do it. Another how to cop guide. These Air Jordan 1 shadows are fire. Hopefully I can get them in, throw them on the table right here. We can do an unboxing with them. But we got a bunch more videos coming out. Thank you guys for the support today. Also, make sure you go check out my Instagram for the page. We're blowing up there. Think about doing a giveaway soon, maybe on that page and the YouTube channel. But again, thanks for the support. We'll see you guys next time.